So one of my top questions on my comment section is, what kind of gear are you using? So today I'm going to be going through a comprehensive guide to all the different gear I'm using, my rods, my reels, the line, all the different things that I bring to the surf with me. So this video is dedicated to every little bit of gear that I use that I think that you guys should try using as well. I'm going to be going over the different rods, the different reels that I use, the kind of line, the different kinds of sand spikes I'm using, and all the different kind of gear that I think is going to help you in your next season of fishing. So if you're stocking up on gear for this upcoming spring, keep watching this video. I'm going to inspire you to get something a little bit too expensive. All right, so let's start with my rods. I've got four rods on my roster. Every time I come out to the beach, I bring about four rods, maximum. I don't want to do too much more. I used to do a lot more, but I've learned from my last season that too much is kind of overwhelming and I won't be able to handle all the rods at one time. So I am taking four rods out. Whoa! Okay, sorry. I might, getting be getting, I might be getting distracted in the middle of this because I have lines out right now as we speak. My first rod right here. This is my lightest rod, my smallest rod, my lightest line, okay? This is my 5000 Shimano Stella SW. And on here, I'm using 30 pound line. This 30 pound line is made of braid. And braid is great because you can cast it out a really long distance. The lighter the braid, the further you can cast. I've chosen a 5000 because this is gonna be for the first trot. I don't wanna cast this too far out. It's gonna be just pretty much right over yonder. So you don't need anything that's too heavy, too big. This is perfect. And this is going on my 10 foot rod. And like I said, I'm picking a 10 foot because I don't want it to go too far. This is kind of first trough kind of stuff only. This is made by Phoenix Black Diamond. It's a black diamond surf rod that casts two to six ounces. Right, and it's rated for 20 to 70 pound braid. Must have been a shark. My first rod is to catch bait, is to also catch big fish in the first trough, okay? Works really well. I love it. I've been using a 10 foot since as long as I can remember. 10 foot is my go to rod. If I were to only bring one rod, it would probably be a 10 footer. This leads me to my next rod, the rod that just got bitten off. This one is my long bomber rod. I've got two long bomber rods. This is my, my mid-range one. This is a black diamond, black diamond 12 foot surf rod. And this works really well because I want to cast it into the middle trough, a little bit further out than the 10 foot. On here I've got an 8,000 sized Shimano Twin Power SW. I got this for my birthday. My dad and mom and my family got this for me because they know I love fishing. But this works really well because it's a little bit bigger than my 5,000 size. It has more line capacity. And I'm also using 30 pound braid on here because 30 pounds cast so far. The only thing that casts further than 30 pounds is 20 pounds. But 20 pounds is a little light for me. I found last year I was getting snapped off a couple of times. This year I think it's important for me to lose less fish so I'm gonna up my line 10 pounds. And the Shimano Twin Power is like a real workhorse. It's very smooth. It's a very luxury reel. It feels great to use. All you gotta do is take care of it. Now, these rods have a pretty hefty price tag on them, but if you take care of them, they're gonna last you a really, really long time. And it's the difference between driving something like a Honda Civic versus driving something like a Lamborghini. They both get you to the same place. 
but one's just feels way better to drive, feels way cooler to use, and that's just my personal preference. Let's move on to the next rod and reel. This one is my 14,000 Shimano Stella. This one is my real workhorse right here because it can hold a lot of line. Now, this is not 30 pound anymore. I've upped this one to 50 pounds because the spool capacity is so large, I can hold a lot of line on here and still not have to sacrifice the diameter of my line. I paired this one, 14,000 size, with my 14 foot. This is also a black diamond, 14 foot, it casts three to 10 ounces. You know, it works really well. Notice how I'm, you can notice how I match my reels to my rods. I don't have my 14,000 on my 10 footer. I have my 5,000. I put my 14,000 on my 14 foot, right? Match how big your reel is with your rod. Now this rod is for me to cast as far as I can with it. It's a really long rod and it allows me to cast really far. Also, I can use, use this reel to drone it out as well because it has such a high capacity spool. My drone has been kind of game changer for me because now I'm able to get my baits really far out there. So that kind of changes my strategy in terms of my rods and whatnot. Now here is my newest expensive toy. This is the Shimano Tiagra 80 wide conventional reel. This thing is a real badass, okay guys? It is very powerful and it holds so much line. This thing can stop anything in its path. Maybe not like a train or maybe not like a boat, but it can stop some pretty big sharks. This I've equipped with my Phoenix Axis Rod. This is what I was recommended to be pairing with this reel. It is a seven foot six, 60 to 130 pound line. This thing can really, really horse some big fish in. So you can, you can see how I have smallest to largest. This is my absolute largest reel that I've got. I've got a 150 pound braid on here. And this is primarily only drone. I only drone this one out. I will never cast this out. Since I got a drone, I can change my strategy and change my gear to accommodate. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect my drone and put out my huge rod. I'm gonna actually use a piece of catfish for bait and put it out quarter mile. Let's see what we get. There's a lot of other little things that, that help me catch fish. These big fat uh, rod holders made by Fish and Mate, they're really big and fat. They hold in the sand. They're made of aluminum so that it won't bend or break or fall down. I really want to protect my expensive reels from falling into the ocean. And I've got them for every one of these. The thing that I like to use, I've got Yetis now. All my, all my coolers are Yetis because they hold and keep my bait really cold for a long extended periods of time. I'm on the beach for a long time, days at a time, sometimes a week at a time. And it's really important to keep your bait fresh and cold. I like to use Yeti coolers. I resisted it for a long time because of the price tag, but ever since I started getting Yetis, they've been holding all my stuff super cold and honestly, they're worth it to me. My next big thing that I like to use, I've got all these bait boxes. Before I was using only one, maybe two of them. Now I put everything in my bait boxes because it keeps, it keeps everything from rusting. It keeps all my bait from getting crushed. It keeps my hooks safe. They're just amazing. I keep all my rigs in here, you see? These are all of my new rigs that I'm gonna be using all season. I don't have to tie them anymore, which was taking me a really, really long time before. Now I pre-tied all of them and put them in packages so that 
you guys can use them as well. Anybody can just pick up a few of these packs, put it into their bait box like this, and go fishing for weeks at a time. Cut the bait up, put it on here, or put it on one of these long bomber rigs, which you can cast really far. I call them long bomber rigs because I can cast it really, really far out because it's a short leader. So I keep all of my rigs in the box now. I also keep all of my baits in this box as well. Shrimpy bits, squiddy bits, clammy bits. I keep them all in here to keep them safe. I also keep my fresh baits in here as well. I cut up everything in here. It just keeps things cleaner. Next thing I like to use is my drone. This drone can fly my baits really far out. And this has been a game changer for me. Without this drone, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck to just casting in the first and second trough. With this drone, I can pull it out a mile, a half a mile, quarter mile, and try out different distances. This has been a real game changer for me because I can catch way bigger fish and I can use way bigger gear where I haven't been able to do that before. Yeah, this is something that I was just put onto last year. I spent the whole year just practicing and using it. I messed up a few times, but I think I really got a hang of it now. It works really well for me. I hope that you could try it yourself and maybe try and plan your next season to be using a drone. My face covered in white. a skibiki rig because you can catch bait fish a lot easier. We're going to use this whole fish out for bait. I'm going to set up one of these long bomber rigs which is a short leader line. First you're going to need a heavy sinker. I like to use a heavy sinker just so I can pin it down to the bottom. Then you put a long bomber rig and we'll put it straight onto the main line. First you put the sinker on. This will slide. And then you just tie it on. And you see how short this rig is? This short rig will allow me to cast it really far without the whole thing spinning around helicopter wise. That's another really important thing that I've kind of picked up from fishing in North Carolina. A lot of people use these really short leader rigs so they can cast it out as far as they can without the bait starting to spin around. When it spins around, it slows down the, the slug. This will slow down in the middle of the air and not cast as far. And now I'm gonna put that on my, I'm gonna put that on my 8,000 size. I've got a bait rig right there, which is my 5,000 size. I've got another big rig on this one, which I'll drone out. And then I've got a shark rig on that one. I'm gonna to get to do some fishing right now. Sit back, relax, and watch me catch some fish. All right, so we're putting the whiting that we just caught on the skibiki on a bigger hook on that long bomber rig. Cut the whole the head thing, off. huh? No, I'll cut the head off. There we go. You can keep catching more of those.
What does it feel like? Oh, oh. Something just pulled the drive. I got to set to strike. Turn the alarm off. Maybe it swam towards me. Holy cow! This is a good one, y'all. This is why I got the big reel here. Ooh, it's pulling. It's pulling, it's pulling. Ah. Going to town. Go to town, Brennan. I gotta go to the market. I gotta get some shark fillets. Yep, that's it. Good job, Mom. <laughs> you got cool. something on there, Auntie Kim? Uh oh. Uh oh. Backwards hat and on. sunglasses are backwards. <laughs> Can you take his sunglasses? <laughs> Woo! It's so far out. You need you need backup. Should I call my Auntie Kim? I think you might need to. Hey, Auntie Kim, you want to help? Kim, come help. Let me get a little bit closer. I still have a little bit of energy left. I'm going to land the shark, okay? Don't let go. Whatever you do. Go ahead. to work. I'm tired yet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mama, you want to try? No, 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 no. Okay, thank you. I'll really help you. It's okay. You see it yet? No, not yet. Still got a little bit left. Got 30 more minutes. Can you do it? 30. <laughs> I put this one really, really far out. 30 more minutes. Ah. <sighs> This is why I put a big reel out for fun like this. You know, we're fighting something from the ocean right now. It could be some kind of monster out there, you know? Isn't that scary? Hold 
on, someone's gonna have to hold the rod. Head to the tail. Measure it to the tail. Right here to the fork. Four feet what? Oh, that. Four feet oh, to the fork. And then to here is what? Four Eight. foot seven. Four foot Eight. ten. Eleven. Four, Four foot, foot ten. ten. Check the sex right here. Okay. Point of tagging them is so that you can, if anybody catches it again, scientists will be able to research how big it grew, how far it traveled. It helps with the migration. I don't typically like to just shark fish without tagging because I like to help as much as I can. But if the shark is out of the water for too long, it's not worth it. I had to stay in the water for a second to really revive it. On another fish. Another shark. This is a different kind of shark though. Or maybe it's just a baby. It's just a baby. Oh, 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 oh. That was on the long bomber rig too. Woo! That was a good day of fishing, wasn't it? <laughs> We're all pretty tired? Yeah. Well, that's my gear list for this year. I'm gonna be using a pretty similar setup throughout this rest of the next year. Uh, I hope that this is kind of informative to you. Don't take everything I say too seriously because take it with a grain of salt. I do fishing in my areas. I like fishing certain ways. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do it the exact same way. This is kind of my own suggestion. This is the way I like to fish. It's not to say this is the best or the only way. Let me know in the comments below, what are you fishing with this year? What's your gear? I wanna hear, am I missing anything in my, in my list? Let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it, for the, let's hear it for the girls. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that my suggestions can help you on your journey to catch more surf fish, more beach fish. This is one of my favorite kinds of fishing and um, I hope that my suggestions will help you. Here at Hay Skipper, we do as much as we can to help you get on fish right away. It's not just a show about me catching fish. It's about a show, me showing you how I catch fish. And there's a million different ways to do it. If you like our show, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell on the corner, and you'll be alerted every time we put out a new episode. We put out videos every single Thursday at 7.30 Eastern time. The best way to support us is to visit our website, hayskipperfishing.com. I've got a ton of different rigs on there, a ton of different kinds of baits. If you get some of these, rigs, baits, bring them to the beach. You're going to catch a lot of fish this season. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week.